whenever read, you're ready, let me know. It is my great honor to be here today to commemorate the 84th anniversary of the Nanjing Crimes Against Humanity. It is crime against humanity because when you target a nation or a group of people because of their race, relation, uh, ethnicity, it is called crime against humanity. It is important that we come here today to commemorate and remember the victims and the survivors because we need to send a message to the international community that we are did not forget the victims, the horrors of Nanjing in 1937, and we will stand in solidarity with the victims and their families until we bring justice to them. This is very important because also we need to send a message to the future generations, to the young people, that we are here to remember, to commemorate, so that we cannot repeat the same mistakes again. We cannot allow other genocide, our nations, to go through this kind of horrors and trauma. So I would like to thank the Canadian Chinese uh, Confederation for organizing this commemoration event tonight, today, and uh, we will always be available to commemorate and remember. After all, I come from a survivor nation. I come from the Armenian people who were subject of a genocide in 1915. My grandfather was a survivor of the genocide, and I know what it means to be subject of a crimes against humanity and genocide. The worst part of it is that the perpetrator until now still denies that act, that crime they committed against an unarmed people. We bow our heads in respect to the victims and their families. Thank you.